two of the top of the line modular helmets, the Schuberth C5 all new ECE06 certification and the Shoei Neotech 2, a helmet that's been around for over four years now and has stood the test of time by far. We're going to take them out once again for a test ride, see which one performs the best, see which one is the most comfortable, the best in the wind. We're just going to see basically who wins this time around. Now something I'm really looking forward to finding out is how well the Shoei Neotech 2 does versus the Shuba C5. I mean, this helmet is completely up to date, ECE 2206 certification. It's prepared for a system made by Senna based on the 50S, which means it has the mesh communication system, which, whereas this one is based on the 20S. So I'm really curious if this helmet really has stood the test of time compared to this completely updated new modular helmet from Schuberth. But we're going to find out because we're going to go out right now. Four years ago I took the Neotic 2 and the Shub of C4 out for a ride in a head-to-head -head or helmet-to-helmet -helmet battle. You wanted to know which of these modular helmets was the quietest and so did we. This time I've taken a slightly different approach to the road test review and I've done that for two reasons. Normally I would have a list of things I would purposely test or check, which means I'm kind of searching for pros and cons instead of simply letting the helmet just show me what it can do. This sort of blank canvas approach allows me to have a more open mind and to enjoy the ride much more. So without further ado, let's take the Shoei Neotech 2 out for a test ride on this lovely windy day. Well, at least it's not raining. Now, if you've seen some of my videos before, then you might know that I actually own a Shoei Neotech 2. Not this specific Neotech 2, this one is completely new, just like the Shuba we're going to be trying, just to keep it completely fair. Comfy, yes, very much so. Shoei is just one of those brands that you put on and it usually feels great, or at least very good. It has a good fit for my strange intermediate oval head. If your Shoei helmet doesn't fit perfectly, then we can fix that for you in one of our shops. The Shoei personal fitting system allows us to tweak the interior of the helmet and custom fit it to your head. You can find more information on this by clicking the link below in the description. I discussed the weight of this helmet in my last road test video, and that of course hasn't changed. The helmet is not particularly heavy or especially light, it's just fine for this type of lid. Because of the aerodynamic features of the helmet, you won't really notice the weight anywhere when you're riding at speed. It wasn't designed to wear while walking long distances, so of course you're going to feel it when you're off the bike and wandering around. I'm a big fan of the stainless steel ratchet in the way of safety, but for me personally, it's not really that comfortable. Most people I've met with this helmet haven't had any issues with it at all, but my own Neotic 2 needed shipping back to the factory to replace the strap with a double D chin strap system. It cost me a small fee, but it solved the issue completely. Most modular helmets don't actually come with double D chin straps, which is fine by a lot of riders, but getting used to the D rings is an absolute doddle, and in the end it's always safer. The sun visor is easy to operate, pleasant to look through, and comes down far enough for my liking. I actually prefer an internal sun visor over a dark smoke outer visor. The latter looks cooler, but it's a real pain to have to carry a clear visor around and swap it over if you end up riding in the dark. The Neotech 2 has been regarded as one of the quietest modular helmets on the market, if not the quietest. In my opinion, it even beats the Schuberth C4 helmet, and that's quite a boast. However, does it still beat the all-new and long-awaited Shuba C5? Good question. Let's bung it on and go for a ride with it. Hang on though, let me just take a short moment to tell you how I'm liking this Rucker suit and the bike under my buttocks. I'm wearing the Rucker Raptor and I'm actually really surprised at how flexible and comfortable it is. This suit is full of top-of-the-line protection and even still it feels somewhat like a casual outfit. It's only 8 degrees Celsius outside, but I'm still nice and warm within this lovely armoured Gore-Tex Pro cocoon. And I never thought I'd say that I'd dig the orange colour, but somehow I do. The bike I'm riding is a Yamaha Tracer 900. Really smooth, great acceleration, very comfortable, and it just looks great, especially in this beautiful red finish. It is a tad too big for me and my little legs, but I can manage fine with it. Perfect match, by the way, for this type of helmet. If you're looking for a bike along these lines, then I can definitely recommend taking this one out for a test ride. Anyway, on with the Shuba C5.
Now this is a really great moment for me, finally getting to go out for a ride with the new Schubert C5. If I'm not mistaken, then this is the very first ECE 2206 modular helmet to hit the market, so that's very exciting as well. The first thing you're going to notice when you go out with this lid is the size of the visor, because it's massive. It might be very slightly smaller than the visor on the C4, although I'm not entirely sure about that. It doesn't really matter, either way it's got great viewing angles and I'm really glad that Shubuff have stuck with a genuine Max Vision pin lock just like Shoei have used on the Neotech 2. It works great so you know you're always going to be riding with a clear view of the road. The fit on the Shubuff is not as good for me as the Neotech 2 which I kind of expected because I usually have that with Shubuff lids. That being said, it does fit me a bit better than the C4 did and it is definitely comfortable enough. The only thing bothering me is that my chin could do with a little bit of extra space. It's not touching the inside of the chin bar, but it is fairly close. The weight of this helmet is very similar to that of the Shoei. It weighs around 1600 grams in the smallest shell size, which is with the speakers and microphone already pre-installed. So that's not bad really. The aerodynamics are grand, no big difference with the Neotech 2 as far as I can tell. Comfortable at high speeds and no real yanking at the head. Perfect. The ease of use of this helmet is really good and a major improvement over the C4 series. The ventilation works much better and there is an extra inlet on the front now for direct to mouth ventilation. Opening and closing the chin bar is a doddle. The extra ledge at the bottom makes the button much easier to find and to operate. The sun visor slider is also slightly easier to find than on the Neotech 2 and it even has a switch to adjust how far the visor comes down. This may sound completely useless, but it will actually come in handy if your nose is larger than average. The so-called memory system for the visor seems to work fine. This system keeps the visor in the same position you put it in even after opening and closing the chin bar. I suppose it could be quite useful as it keeps your hands off the helmet more, allowing you to focus on your bike and the road. The moment everybody is always waiting for when it comes down to these lids is the big question, which one is quieter? That's a really tough question for me to answer this time around. Previously it was clear to me that the Neotech 2 was actually noticeably quieter than the C4. Fast forward to 2022 and it's difficult for me to hear much of a difference at all. If there is a difference, it's not really worth mentioning. I mentioned it once but I think I got away with it. And to be honest, it can differ slightly per rider anyway due to the fact that every head is different and the fit of the helmet can and will influence the amount of soundproofing. Now something that people often seem to forget is that the helmet alone is not going to protect your ears sufficiently. I myself am an avid musician in my spare time and I know how important it is to protect your ears. You're not going to be able to reverse the damage. Don't be fooled by people saying that helmets are quiet. They can be and these two helmets are about as quiet as you're going to get. But not enough to keep your hearing in good nick. You're going to need to wear some good earplugs for that. Both helmets would be an excellent choice for almost any motorcyclist. You'll probably achieve the best results with these lids on touring bikes, sport touring bikes and naked bikes. I cannot ignore the fact that the C5 has the new ECE 2206 rating and it goes without saying that the Neotech 2 doesn't as this rating didn't yet exist when the Neotech 2 was released. For me, this doesn't stop me from choosing the Neotech 2 as my helmet as I'm convinced that the helmet would pass the 226 requirements. Considering the fact that all new helmets will need to comply soon enough, that gives me the funny feeling Shoei will be working on a Neotech 3 as we speak. Something that might be a deal breaker for you will be the communication systems these helmets are designed for. The Shubath C5 is prepared for the new SC2 system which is based on the Sena 50S, whereas the Shoei Neotech 2 is prepared for the SRL2 system which has been around for 4 years now. The SC2 is the clear winner here as it features the mesh network, allowing you to connect with virtually any number of riders. If you're not really that bothered about riding with a comm system, then you're going to be in for a tough choice. The bottom line is that these helmets have their own pros and cons, but they are very, very good. Thank you for watching our road test video, I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope it helps you out with your choice of which helmet to buy. You can find both helmets on our website with the best prices at fortomoto.com. If you'd like to do me a favour, you can! Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of our future content. And if that's not a good enough reason for you, then just do it because it makes me well happy. Thanks again for watching, ride safe and I'll see you again next time. Cheerio!